this could be the reason why you're not getting anywhere on Tinder. So about four or five years ago, I was on all the major dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, etc. And I was getting frustrated because I was getting nowhere. And so I got uh, really frustrated. I switched over to social media which is one of the best things that ever happened to me because I met my wife that way. I met a ton of other girls that way. And that's what I teach guys to do uh, these days. But what I didn't realize at the time was that the reason I wasn't doing well on dating apps is because I didn't have good photos. And if you think about it, guys, a good photo is what the girl's going to swipe right on as the very first thing that gets your foot in the door, right? The very first thing that happens is that she sees your photo. She either swipes left or right on it. And the thing about dating apps is that you can't just use photos out of your camera roll. Guys, you got 100% of all the women chasing after 1% of men. And the other 99% of men are all chasing after that 100% of women. So what this means is, is that you have to go above and beyond. Is it sad that you have to go hire a photographer just to get anywhere on a dating app? Maybe you can look at it that way. But if you're not doing it, you're almost guaranteeing your spot down at the bottom. Whereas if you would just go drop a few hundred bucks, you would be in the top tier of guys. That doesn't mean anything just because you have good photos, you know, or that you look good, that you're actually going to be in the top 1% of men. It doesn't mean that, right? But it is the prerequisite for getting considered on a dating app. So if you want hot girls, you have to play the game. And the game is structured as such that, on a, at least on a dating app, that you have to have good pictures. So when it comes to hiring a photographer, you need to consider a few different things. The first thing is hire an online dating photographer that actually knows what they're doing. Then once you've got the right person picked out, you need to have three different shots. The first one is a well-lit profile shot, okay? No hats, no shades, show your face, okay? And out of that profile shot, you need two different ones. You need one with you smiling and the other one a more stoic shot. You also need hobby pictures, so pictures that show your cool life. If you train martial arts, if you play sports or something like that, you need to have that photographer come out to those events or whatever it is that you do and capture you and your element. You also need a good body shot. So it's even better if you can make your hobby shots also your body shot. So if it's like you with your shirt off playing ultimate frisbee and there you are like catching it, right? And the girl can see that you have abs or something like that. That's the way to show that you have a good physique. Don't take a like a gratuitous selfie, like explicitly showing off your body, but you do need the body shot. Now, once you've hired a photographer to handle all that stuff, the thing that you can use out of your camera roll is your social proof pictures. Any photo that shows that you've got people around and you're having a good time, that's going to be worthwhile even if the photo quality is low. Because if you think about it, the purpose of that photo is not to show that you look good. It's to show that you act good. Drop your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and check out my other videos up here.